Okay, this is just going to be a little bit of um, ranting, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I had read this article on uh, this website, uh, uh, the Pantheos.com. Uh, the the article is basically basically called "Why the Crap is an In Your Face Religion." <clears throat> most of the uh, most of the article, you know, I had no qualms with. Um, I really can't prove or disprove most of what is said, so I'm kind of taking it at face value. One particular section kind of um, irritated me. Because it, it kind of sounds like, you know, it's just uh, condescending and just downright mean, basically, it, the way I'm taking it. The person's probably not, you know, intentionally doing it, but it, that's just, you know, how it reads to me. Um, for those of you that don't know, that the Pantheon is basically a uh, pagan website with, you know, uh, pagan articles and such. Uh, this particular article, uh, near the near the end of the the article, they they go on to say, and I quote: "To call oneself a witch is to identify with those who are destroyed, and to confront the heirs of the of the destroyers." The name itself says to the establishment, "Your religion is no longer fit for human consumption." To call oneself a Wiccan rather than a witch is a wrong move. People do that in order to avoid the negative reactions to the word witch. Of course, not everyone in the pagan movement wants to be confrontative. It's much nicer and easier to pretend that the craft is just another okay religion among all the choices in the world today. But such pretense amounts to hoping that the problem will go away if one ignores it. It won't. This particular paragraph, I disagree with wholeheartedly. To me, the way I understand it, and I may be getting this wrong, but like I said, the way I see this, this, this article is uh, they think that, you know, that the only reason they, they should be called a witch is to say uh, to the descendants of those that were part of the uh, witch hunt, which is a big fuck you to, you know, those people, and that's it. That's the way I see it. And like I said, I may I may get this wrong, but my understanding of the words witch and Wiccan have completely different meanings. To me, it's it's a matter of what you identify, identify yourself as. You either identify yourself as a witch or you identify yourself as a Wiccan. It has nothing to do with being confrontative, nothing at all. And that's why I got the got so pissed because you can be a witch and not be wicked. You can be a wicked and not be a witch, from the way I understand it. So to me, that paragraph is complete bullshit. Uh, the next paragraph, they go on to say uh, that uh, so I guess like some discussion group had a topic labeled. All religion is a mental illness. Um, they say it's not true of all religions, but it is of at least 90% of the religions in the world right now. The craft has been created because people need a religion that will meet their needs, not one that sets their uh, neurosos and addictions and uh, concrete. Um, I don't think that's accurate. 
um, that th this may be their opinion, but I don't think it's 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 correct. Um, I think every single religion, and that's including all forms of paganism, is I. Uh, Uh, not, I, I don't think they're all a mental illness. I think they're, they're all specified to meet certain needs, if you get what I, get my meaning. I mean, Christianity, uh, Islam, Judaism, uh, Buddhism, paganism, uh, Hinduism, um, you know, all the others out there, they all serve the same function in one way or another. Uh, yeah, paganism serves to me, like, you know, it's, it's completely different from, say, you know, the Abrahamic religions or something like that, but, you know, to say that, you know, all but, you know, 10% are, 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 are a mental illness, I, that's, that's really condescending. <clears throat> And it, it talks a little bit more about what it talks previously in the, uh, in, in the article above. And then the last paragraph, uh, they talk about, uh, rights and having the right to overthrow and recreate our own government. And, uh, They say that, you know, that's, that, that's, we have the exact same right with established religion. That we have, we have the right to overthrow established religions. Okay, where, where are they getting that? As, as far as I'm concerned, the First Amendment I, I may be wrong, I think it's the First Amendment, it guarantees us a freedom of religion, and that includes all of them, every single one. This, art, this article is just the strangest article on certain subjects. Um, I'll leave a link to the article, and you can read it. I had to say something on this because th those three paragraphs conf confused and irritated me so much because it sounds so condescending and just so stupid. Um, but hey, what can you do?